Pablo, can we just ask how difficult is it going to be for the players with no fans in the stadium? Have you ever experienced that before? And just no, what, never. First imagine time. what it's going to be like. Yeah, it's probably it's going to be a little bit strange. Uh, obviously, I never had this experience before. Uh, probably most of the players will never play in that situation. But, um, well, you know, sometimes it's happened. All we have to do is just motivate ourselves and, um, and we know how important is the game tomorrow for us. And hopefully we can do a great game and just uh, get three points is the most important thing for us. Pablo, um, you've played at, um, in a Manchester City defence for five, six years now, quite a few years. Um, this one has some very good players in it. There are times when it does look slightly vulnerable when the opposition get close to the edge of the penalty area. Do you have any idea why that is and have you been trying to put that right uh, in training? No, I think uh, we have a great defenders, great players in defend, not just in the back four. I think uh, also in defending we are a team where normally when we play we, we like to be an attacking team and and obviously, sometimes we can concede some space at the back. Should be easy for everyone to defend with all the players behind the, our own half. But we are not this kind of team. We sometimes, or most of the games, we we like to press high, and sometimes we can have some space between lines. But um, is the way that we we like to play, uh, and we are not going to change for this. You've admitted this season that. Personally, you don't think that Yaya has, has been at the best, the peak of his form that he has been in, in previous seasons. What does he have to do to get back to that, that peak of his form? And will t could tomorrow night be the kind of game where we could see that, where he could dominate uh, and, and show us what he's, his greatest form? Well, really, I don't agree exactly with the media that Yaya today is in a bad season. Maybe if you compare his performance in this year, what he did last year, that was a, a brilliant performance, Maybe he just need time to, con to arrive again to that performance, but he's continue being a very important player for our team, especially as uh, you saw two games ago against Aston Villa. He has the quality to make the difference when they they we have to fight so to against 10 defenders behind the ball. So I think that Yaya, every game he's, he, every game he's playing, he's playing better. He had a very complicated summer, but I think that he's now in this moment, he's arriving again to his normal performance. I understand what you say about Yaya scoring good goals and still being a very dangerous player when he is high up the field. This season he hasn't looked as comfortable further back. Are we approaching a time when we will see Yaya play most of his games for, for your team as a second striker or further up the pitch and leave other players to do the defensive work? Well, it can be also an option. It can be an option because Yaya has the quality to play in both positions. He may play as more behind the striker or as a midfielder. His national squad they normally play in forward, but I think that in our team, he's a very important midfielder. It's the way he will continue, in the position he will continue playing, because I think this is the most important uh, it's most important for our team in that position that, uh, that, that play behind, uh, behind the striker. So I repeat, I don't think that this team depends just from one player. So uh, if we didn't play well in some games before, it's because the whole team didn't play well, not only, not only Yaya. And when we improve, it's because the whole team improves. So I repeat, he can do both. Uh, he can play both positions, but I think it's the, most, the most important position where he played last year when he was the best the best uh, player in the Premier League. Pablo, you've been at the club for six years. You've seen them progress from FA Cup winners, League champions, Capital One Cup winners. How far are they away, do you believe, from being competitive to win the Champions League? Are you ready now? Or do you think it's still maybe a year or two away? No, no. Sometimes it takes time. So, uh, we know that we are a team, we are a club, that we've been improving the last few years. But obviously, uh, this competition, Champions League, demands too much. You are playing against the best team in in Europe and uh, we are a team that we are improving year by year. We, we have a great team, great players, uh, but obviously to win that competition is so difficult. So um, obviously look, looking forward, we are, um, it's one of those competitions that probably we, we would like to win, but uh, we have to work really hard to, to do it. And the only way to try to be with the best teams in Europe 
It's just uh, keep doing what, what we're doing now. It's just working hard and, and try to win games and learn about mistakes from, from the last uh, years. Well, I think it's a pity, really, that we cannot play tomorrow with, with fans. I think that this show is with fans, is for fans. So uh, it will be a very strange, a very strange game because you will hear all what, what the players shout inside the, inside the pitch. Many years ago, I had the, I leave the experience. I, I repeat, it's not really the show that we need to we need to to have. But we don't have any other option. We must play in that way. Of course, maybe some some people think that the local team may be more damaged we, we talk, without playing with their fans. But I think that the most the most uh, damage is for football. I think that football is with fans. Last year, if we, we were concerned about the pitch, we, we, because it wasn't impossible to play in that pitch, and everyone knows before the game. Uh, now this year, no. I think that uh, we I just uh, watched the game that played last Saturday here, and I think maybe it's not the it's not the best pitch because it's very difficult here in Russia in winter or at the beginning of the winter have a very good pitch. But I think that's a normal condition, so it, and it, we are not we are not going to have any problem about that.